guys, welcome to today's video on uh, fat burning tips and, uh, and we'll post some stuff about some, uh, some fat burning shakes for you. So we get asked a lot of the times on what can I do to burn more fat, how do I burn fat um, and, uh, and am I doing the right things. So the very basic way for us to understand or us for, to educate our, our members on uh, how do we burn fat uh, comes down to two things. First off, we need to make sure that we are um, burning more calories than we consume, okay, and, uh, and that we're exercising at the right intensity. Now, burning more calories than we consume doesn't mean that we stop eating altogether. You still have a basic requirement or a basic nutritional requirement um, that you need to consume every day regardless of whether you're, what your goal is, whether you want to lose weight or gain weight. So everybody, this is what we call having your number. And, uh, and here, at the, here at the club here, we, uh, we work out what everybody's number is, and that's the minimum amount of numbers you've got to eat each day in terms of calories, so protein, fats, and carbs, um, to support basic bodily functions and, uh, and give your body the fuel it needs to recover uh, and get stronger and obviously, and obviously get leaner. Now, um, a lot of people uh, come to us with uh, some, some very uh, distorted views on, uh, on healthy eating, and, we can, uh, and we, can, we can see this straight away because obviously they're, they're plateauing in their weight loss. They've lost three or four kilos, but they're just not losing anything. And it's been like that for a long time. So that's generally the, uh, the first sign that we're not eating enough. Um, these types of people are also exercising every day, whether it be in cans, they're doing the red arrow or they're walking the estimate. They're doing something anyway. So um, you've got to know what your number is first off, and then you've got to eat to that number, and then you can modify it around from there. But it's only a small amount of change on on that number that, uh, that your body can tolerate before it starts going bad for you. The second thing is making sure we're working out the right intensity. So the right intensity obviously comes down to the right amount of heart rate um, held at the right amount of um, uh, a percentage rate for the most amount of time um, and also a mix of strength training. So for example, just doing a 5k run every day um, is not the optimal way to, uh, to lose weight. Your body will get used to it. Um, there's no variance in the heart rate for your body and um, there's no strength training in there for you. So you need a good even mix of, of weight bearing exercises, um, sprint or loaded sprint training and steady state cardio, which is really easy to achieve because most people are trying to train three to five times a week anyway. And we just need to mix up those training sessions, whether it be one day in the gym doing uh, whole body weights, the second day outside doing a steady state run, and then maybe the third day doing some hill sprints or some prowl or some rope work. So you, you basically, the the, the, the secrets to burning fat are, are very, very basic, okay? Eat the right amount of calories, not less than what you, that your body needs, and exercise with enough variety and enough high intensity that your body's forced to make a change. So if you look at the way that you're training at the moment, if you're doing the same training, the same numbers in the gym, the same run on the, uh, on the Esplanade, or the same three or five K run to the same time all the time, and you've been doing that consistently for the, more than three weeks, your body's not in any state there to make a change and get fitter or stronger or leaner for you. So you've got to break it up and, uh, and add some variety in there. If you're not getting stronger by putting some load on your body, whether it be some weights or whether it be some body weight exercises that challenge you and, uh, and force your body to get stronger, then once again, the body has no need to get stronger, so you're not going to get any results. And this is what happens in blue plateaus. So that's basically the very basic way to uh, look at fat burning and to, um, and to put some ideas in your head on what you can add into or take out of your training program and, uh, and your nutrition plan to uh, get the best results. Underneath this video will be three shake ideas that we use with our family. We've got four kids and um, they're, uh, they're very healthy shakes. They're not, um, they're not uh, calorie 